G'day, I'm welcome to Market Sam After Work. Today I want to do a video on, um, well, loading, um, charge weights and machines to be able to make that happen. Um, what I'm talking about there is hand loading. I'm talking about measuring the amount of powder that goes into the cartridge or into the case before you put the projectile in to create yourself a load. Um, and it's really about, I suppose, a little bit of explaining how much you need in the way of a system to do that for ELR shooting. Um, and I suppose it comes with starting off and explaining oh, what I do, what I've done. Um, I've started from the place that most people would have started from, um, using a powder thrower and then a simple set of scales where I very first started in things. Fairly early on, um, I, in the way of when I went into ELR, probably around 10 years ago, I got myself a, a charge master one of these RCBS um, 1500s or the Charge Master 1500. Um, did the little bits and pieces which you can see on YouTube, the, the um, McDonald's straw and, and just tuned it up a little bit so it runs a little bit faster and does what I want it to do. And this is what I largely use 99% um, of the time. Um, then I've also got one of these fellas um, which um, and this is really the, the real move forward. This is one of the first and now the other, the, um, the RCBS, um, I think Hornady, there's other companies that are going to the same road. And what we're actually talking about is surgical level scales. Whereas this fella here measures down to 0.1 of a grain um, and really you're coming into 0 0.1, 0 0.2 of a grain is the accu accu actual accuracy you see out of these. These fellas here, these scales are down to 0 0.04 of a grain. So more accurate. Um, this, sort of, um, this sort of measuring system, um, which is quite complex in the way they've done it, um, you can also get the, now there's this charge master with the same sort of scale and there's other ones that go into the place. And we're also going with Bluetooth and all sorts of stuff for data recording and for, for operating machines. There's all sorts of more technical there becoming with these things. Listen, for some people that really floats their boat, that's a really good thing. I probably not so much. I'm not into that sort of level of things. I record my loads. I want um, enough accuracy in the way of my load, but I don't really like to fuss too much on that side of it. And then there's also budget attached to what you can afford. Um, ultimately, I would say in, in hand loading and target shooting or in any endeavor, um, saving up a bit longer and buying the better of the units is generally a good idea and generally will pay you back in the long term. But that doesn't mean that it is the only way to look at things. More expensive isn't always better. And I suppose the real topic I wanted to get into today, the real thing I wanted to talk about today, was how much do you need that accuracy, that extra accuracy? So in the way of that 0 0.04 of a grain is very, very accurate in the way of your pet charge weight. So that should make even more accurate in the way of your groups, your SDs, your ESs, the group size, all that sort of stuff should be better because of it. Um, and I suppose the truth of it is for most of the cartridge I see, um, no, I haven't seen differences along those lines is the simple truth of it. More accuracy in the way of in the in the in the loading in the powder, I see logic to it, absolutely. But the truth I would tell you is at point two of a gram, which is probably what this thing's really pulling off, um, that is as I don't see much difference in stepping up further in most of the cartridges I shoot. Now I'll go into what I'm talking about there. I haven't tested this thing enough and it's a little complex to set up, so I tend to fall back to this here, but I didn't see enough differences. The reason I feel that is, is because most of the cartridges I'm shooting are running more than 40 grains of powder. Most of them, a lot of them in my ELR season are running more than 70 or 80 or even 90 grains of powder for some of the stuff I shoot into the 200 grains when you go to the BMGs and the Barretts and things like that. Um, and this is a percentage thing. Um, when you have, let's say, a, uh, let's say, let's talk about 100 grains, which is still a big cartridge, but 100 grains at 0 0.02 Grain, it's at 0.2 grains, I should say, which is the least accuracy I'd expect out of this unit here, the, 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 the normal sort of scales, the normal sort of setup. Um, uh, you're still talking about 0.2%. So you're talking very, very small. And from my experience, 
your neck tension, your actual, um, the actual charge weight to suit, the pressure you're running at, the bar everything else, including the shooter, the trigger, the, the, the dynamics of the rifle, the, that's not even getting into conditions, but everything else just in your cartridge um, has more impact than the 0.02% difference that you'll get in a charge weight. Now, when you come down to, let's say, 50 grains, that 0.02% just became 0.04%, probably coming up in, into half a percent is the sort of thing you're coming up to. And so then maybe at that point, you're starting to see a difference where I can really start to see a difference. When you start to get up into, let's go down to 25 grains. Now we've come to 20 and 25 grains. So coming down to your 223s and things like that. Then I can start, then you're talking, starting to get into the point where you're talking 8%. It's only 0.2 of a grain, but it's 8%. Um, which is then I can start to conceivably see that, okay, at 1%, we're starting to be able to see enough difference. Still keeping in mind that your neck tension, your seating depth, your charge weight, in general charge weight, the bullet, the bullet consistency, the consistency of the me plat, the consistency of the actual size of all the other things pro still have a lot of influence in this situation. But once you've moved into 1% of your charge weight, which like I said, is at the 0.2 grains um, we're talking about in that score, then I can start to see a logic that makes sense with it. I haven't done enough testing, but in that place, then I can see these fellas really getting into it. So not really trying to be a sale for any of these things. My comment more to the point is that you don't need to overthink that bit. Um, there is enough accuracy in your charge weight is enough. Um, more, okay, I get it, but like I said, for, for, for shooting well, for seeing the groups that you can see me shoot. Um, and when I was doing, and I don't do a lot of it, I do the least of it I can, and that is the likes of the lab radar and, and speed measuring and do the ESs and that sort of stuff. Last season, I did, more, did a bit more of it. Started to see, yes, I do get very good ESs, but it's not my focus at all. Um, I deliberately don't. It's another thing to set up. I've got enough to do. I've got multiple cameras. I've got multiple work to do. Um, the moment I plonk a lab radar in front of me, I've lost a camera angle, so I tend to not want to use that. I do it to get some information and then I put it away this season. Um, but depends what's, like I said, what floats your boat. The ES is what you're focusing on. A lot of guys that is doing this stuff at 100 yards and they're trying to go there, then okay, you may see some differences that really matter on that level. Not what I've seen and not for the ELR stuff and not for the groups that I'm trying to produce. Um, do I see a need better than the, than the lesser scales? Uh, but nothing wrong with the, with the higher ones. If you've got the funds or got the access to that, machine, that equipment, then yeah, all, all, all power to you. Um, anyway, that's my little one for this one, just to make sure the, the blokes without the, without the funds, you can carry on with whatever you got. Don't be pushing yourself to a place you don't need to go um, unless you want to. Anyway, guys, that's about what I can tell you for this one. I hope that was of value to someone. Thanks for checking in, and we'll catch you next time.